Mr. Rolls on my mind. Yo, guys, Mr. Rolls, welcome back to a new YouTube video. This YouTube video, we're throwing it back to 2021 when it was the bubble. It wasn't the bubble season. It was the year right after the bubble, like tournament they had in Toronto and Edmonton. It's right after that. So this is when they had the Canadian division, when they had yeah the three other American divisions, and they only played in your division. So we're gonna do that, except. Seattle joined the league, so I'm going to put Seattle with the Canadian teams just because they're beside Vancouver and they're close to Edmonton and Winnipeg. I was thinking about moving other teams around, but I didn't really want to shake up all the divisions. So we're just going to put Seattle with the Canadian teams because you can't put have one division with nine, two divisions with eight, and then one division with seven. They all have to be even. So let's get into it. I also could have removed Seattle, but I think because we're doing it now, I think we should have kept Seattle. So... Let's get to it. So right now, as you see, we're just doing all the basic settings. 32 teams, two conferences, four divisions, 56 games, all in the division. And then the standings are just going to be the basic standings. And we're just going to do the basic playoffs because that's what it was. So for the team, I'm just going to choose um, Anaheim because they're not going to make any trades. Maybe Kulikov, but Kulikov, does anyone want Kulikov? No. Because I'm choosing Anaheim as... They're not going to make any trades, and they're not going to make the playoffs. So, I'm just gonna so here's a quick rundown of the divisions. We got Arizona, Anaheim, Colorado, Minnesota, San Jose, L.A., St. Louis, and Vegas in the West Division. In the North, or the Canadian Division, you got Ottawa, Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Montreal, Seattle, Vancouver, and Winnipeg. In the Central Division, you got Carolina, Columbus, Detroit, Florida, Dallas, Chicago, Tampa Bay, and Nashville. And arguably one of the stacked divisions, you got in the East, you got Boston, Buffalo, New Jersey, New York Islanders, New York Rangers, Philadelphia Flyers, Penguins, and the Capitals. So at the start, we're just going to sim halfway through the season. So at the halfway point in the North Division, you got Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Toronto, Seattle, Ottawa, Montreal, and Winnipeg. So the games are going to be games are going to be rambled up because it's 56 games, but the schedules are going to be kind of weird. So some teams, as you see, Edmonton's at 34 games and Toronto's only at 23. So, the schedule might be a little weird, but it'll be all good in the end. All, all teams are going to play 56. So, right now we got Montreal and one. Every team's still fighting for a spot in this division, which is good. And the custom, funny thing with Anaheim, they're actually doing pretty good. Even though I chose them as, oh, they're not going to make the playoffs. You got Colorado, LA, Minnesota, Anaheim right now in third. And then you got Vegas, Arizona, St. Louis, and San Jose. San Jose kind of trailing off, but still plenty of time for them. As in the Central Division, we got Carolina, Florida, Tampa, Dallas, Chicago, Nashville, Columbus, and Detroit falling faller, lower and lower by day. But maybe they come back if they get on a win streak. In the East, you got New York Rangers, Philadelphia Flyers, surprise. The Islanders also a surprise, and the Penguins. As you got the Bruins, Capitals, and Devils all in the basement right now. Now, as we take a look at the point leaders. Who would have guessed? It's McDavid. McDavid at 48. Drysdale 46. All Edmonton top of the league. Robertson and then Nugent Hopkins on Edmonton as well. So they're killing up the North Division right now. Svechnikov, Kane, Panarin, and Kucherov are your top 10. We'll go a little further with Nick Schmaltz, Natchez, Keller, Kachuk, Rantanen, and Gaudreau. For defensemen, your point leaders are Adam Fox, Quinn Hughes, Samuel Girard, Ryan Ellis, Matthias Ekholm, Seth Jones, Brandon Martour, Rasmus Dahlin, and John Carlson. And then the pipes, you got your wins leaders in Anderson, Sorokin, Shosturkin, Georgiev, and Skinner. With Vasilevsky, Ottinger, Demko, and Arvid Soderblom with 12. And then save percentage, you got Alexander Georgiev, a 942 potential Vesna season. Stolars, 931, maybe he hasn't played enough games. But you got 926 on Sorokin and a 924 on Vasilevsky. And then your best goals against is Georgiev a 1.71. And then Vasilevsky 2.26. And then Sorokin's there at a 2.3. So now I'm going to sim up to the trade deadline and see where the teams are at. Incoming news, guys. Winnipeg Jets have fired head coach Hugo Delore. I know it's the real head coach in Hugo Delore. But the Winnipeg Jets have fired their coach. Yeah, he just doesn't have the coach's rights. So at the halfway point right now, you got in the North Division, you got Toronto in one, Vancouver in second, Edmonton third. Calgary fourth, Seattle and Ottawa, and when it, this is actually a close division. As Montreal, you're only eight points back. 
with only one more game played with 14 games left in the season. So this is actually a keen division. Montreal, Winnipeg, Ottawa, and Seattle can all make the playoffs. It could all be flip-flopped. Colorado's killing this division right now. They only have 10 losses on the season. So Colorado 1, Minnesota's 2, Anaheim 3. I don't even know how. LA 4, Vegas, Arizona. This Lily also a good division. You got St. Louis and Anaheim. Six points apart. Even Minnesota, only nine points apart. Two points separate second place and ninth place. I mean, eighth place. And this division, kind of a little more spread out from the top teams to the bottom. But you got Carolina, Tampa, Chicago, surprisingly. I don't even know how. Florida and Dallas. Columbus staying with it. Nashville's kind of falling apart, but Detroit's pretty much done. And then in the East Division, you got New York Rangers, Buffalo Sabres, Flo Philadelphia, and the Islanders. I don't know how they're doing this, but they are. As well as Boston, Pittsburgh, and New Jersey. But they're actually really close. And then Washington's kind of fall and fall and fall. So these are all the trades that happened in the season. Some may have happened earlier. Some may have happened. So Mark Borbietsky goes to Tampa to improve the defensive core. Oilers acquiring Christopher Tanna from the Flames. The Leafs are getting Paul Stastny from Arizona. Tampa acquiring a deft defenseman again in Marcus Ferravari. Boston's trading away some prospects for John, Justin Schultz and Carson Soucy to improve the defensive core. Making that push. Eunice Donskoy going to Ottawa. Gabe Velarde going to Vancouver. Pittsburgh getting John Klinberg for a bunch of prospects in Owen Pickering and Joel Bloomquist. Minnesota again trading Frederick Adro to Minnesota for Leon Basile as they're just loading up on prospects right now as you see another one right up above it. Marcus Johansson going to Carolina. You got Philadelphia acquiring Connor Brown and Connor Sheary from Washington. You got Nick Dowd and TJ Oshie going to Florida for Washington for some prospects. And then you got uh, Vegas trading away prospects Lucas Cormier and Ben Hemmerling for John Merrill and Brendan Smith. Pittsburgh acquiring Ryan Hartman. Minnesota just trading away everything for prospects. And then you got New Jersey trading away Eric Halla for just the prospects and some picks. So that's all the trades that did happen. So in the North Division, your four playoffs are Toronto, Edmonton, Vancouver, and Calgary. Ottawa just barely missed out as well as Montreal. Seattle fell way down all the way in the seventh. And Winnipeg got last. In the center, no, in the West Division, you had Colorado only losing 13 times all season. You had Minnesota in second, Anaheim in third. I don't know how Anaheim made it. LA in fourth, and then you had Vegas, Arizona, St. Louis, and San Jose all missing out. But it was a close division. You had some teams fighting for it. Carolina, Dallas, Tampa, and Florida. This was probably the four favorites, and they all made it through. Columbus barely missed out. They were one point away. Chicago also got close. They choked it near the end. And then the East Division, you have New York Rangers, Penguins, the Flyers, and the Sabres both made it through. Above Boston, New Jersey, and the Islanders. The Islanders fell down. So, here are your point stats for the regular season. I'm going to show all the awards at the end, but I'm just going to show the le league leaders first. So your Rocket Richard, not your Rocket Richard, your Art Ross winner is going to go to Leon Dreisaitl, 78. David at second. Matthews, McKinnon, Kucherov, Rantanen, Hyman, Patterson, and Natchez were your top 10 point scorers. Your goals leader was Matthews, Kucherov, Sagan, Ovechkin, Dreisaitl, McKinnon, McDavid, Kane, and Goudreau. We'll check your defenseman real quick. Quinn Hughes, potential Norris winner. Adam Fox, Samuel Girard, Morgan Riley, Rasmus Dolan, Shane Gossespear, Tony Giangelo, Ryan Ellis, and Tyson Berry. For your goalies, you had Georgiev at a 9.28 with a 2.05 save percentage. No one was even close to him. Probably your Vesna winner, maybe. And now, if you guys want to skip ahead, you can, but I'm just going to show every team's league leader in points. Because maybe if you're a fan of that team, you want to see it, but I'm just going to show every team's leaders. So just skip ahead a minute. Trevor Zegers for the NI Ducks at 46. Clayton Keller for 54 and 55 for Arizona. Brad Marchand, 53 for Boston. Tage Thompson, 48 points for Buffalo. Elias Leno, 44 for Calgary. Natchez, 66 for Carolina. Chicago, 39 from Seth Jones. Rantanen, 69 from McKinnon. I mean, <laughs> McKinnon, 69. 
Gutierrez, 63 for Columbus. Robertson, 58 for Dallas. Detroit, 49 from Larkin. Dry Settles, we already saw, 78 for Edmonton. Matthew Kachuk, 53 for Florida. Kopitar got 48 for Los Angeles. Minnesota had 46 from Matt Boldy. Montreal got 42 from Kirby Dock. Philip Forsberg got 55 for Nashville. 56 from Jack Hughes for the Devils. 43 from Brock Nelson for the Islanders. 56 from Patrick Kane for the Rangers. 42 from Claude Giroux from the Senate for the Senators. Couturier put up 50 for the Flyers. 52 for Crosby on the Penguins. Hurdle put up 37 on the Sharks. Yanni Gord, 42 for the Kraken. The Blues, 41 from Braden Shen. Tampa Bay's has Kucherov at 68. Matthews at 70 for Toronto. Pedersen for 66 on Vancouver. Eichel for 45 on Vegas. Ovechkin for 59 on Washington. And Mark Shifley for 55 on Winnipeg. Now, I'm just going to show the lines on every playoff team. Here's a look at the playoff tree. At the top, you got Toronto the 1 versus Calgary the 4. Edmonton 2 versus Vancouver the 3. Colorado the 1 versus Los Angeles the 4. Minnesota the 2 versus Anaheim the 3. Carolina the 1 versus Florida the 4. Dallas the 2 versus Tampa Bay the 3. New York Rangers the 1 versus Buffalo the 4. And Pittsburgh the 2 versus Philadelphia the 3. So now I'm just going to show you guys all the roster moves. That were. So we got TJ Oshie and Nick Dow going to the Florida Panthers. We got Connor Sheary and Connor Brown going to the Philadelphia Flyers. And then we got Martin Farafari going to the Tampa Bay Lightning. We got Chris Tanev going to the Edmonton Oilers. John Klinberg and Ryan Hartman are going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Marcus Johansson going to the Carolina Hurricanes. Freddie Gaudreau is going to the Dallas Stars. So for the first round of the playoffs, we're just going to, for the first three rounds of the playoffs, we're just going to simp till the elimination games. But I'm going to show you the rosters for the newly fermented teams. All right, LA, this is your new forward core without Gabe Bellardi. He was around your third line or second line center. Now you got Kaliev, Deneau, and Zach McEwen down here with Blake Lazat, Byfield, and Grundstrom. Calgary's defense, you got with the loss of Tanev, you got Uyghur, or Anderson, Zadorov, Hannafin, and Shillington, and Stetcher. So, Florida with the addition of TJ Oshie and Nick Dowd, this is your new lines. You got Oshie subbing in that second line right wing and Nick Dowd at the fourth line center. As per Carolina, your new line, you got Johansson at the third line center now. So, Jordan Stahl is dropping to the fourth. Johansson comes in with the third. All right, Minnesota fans, look away. You lost everyone. You lost Johansson. You lost Klinberg. You lost Hartman. You lost Freddie Gaudreau. You lost Marcus Johansson. i kind of forgetting the other players he lost because he lost so much. So, subbing in, you got Connor Dewar, Mason Shaw, Ryan Reese, Brandon Duhayne, Sunquist, Defenseman, and then you lost Klinberg. So, John Merrill subbing in. Vancouver, with the addition of Velarde, you got your new third-line center. Edmonton, you added Chris Tanev, and here's your first-line defensive pairing. You got Bouchard dropping down, as well as CeCe. Tampa, with the addition of Martin Fervari, he's your new line third-line defensive pairing. Dallas, with the addition of Frederick Gaudreau, he's your new third-line center. Philadelphia, your trades improved just significantly. You got your new first-line left-wing in Connor Brown, and new second-line left-wing in Connor Shearer's. Faraby and Delorier drop down. Pittsburgh also helped their team. You got Ryan Hartman coming at third line left wing, dropping Drew O'Connor. And then on defense, you got a new second line defensive pairing for Ryan, for Brian Dumoulin, John Klinberg. All right. Tampa the three against Dallas the two right now. Tampa leads the series three games to zero. Rematch of the 2021 Cup Final when it was the bubble. 1-1 one, one after one, two, one after two. Third period, can Tampa close it out? Nope. Tie game, Delandria and Essa Lindell. Isamont also scores third. Overtime we got. Scores. Nikita Kucherov in Tampa Bay gets the sweep four games to zero and advance in the next round. New York the one up three games to one over Buffalo the four. One nothing Buffalo though. Two one after two. Vinny Chocek and Capo Caco third period to advance and they do. They win the game two one and win the series four games to one. Edmonton the two leading Vancouver the three right now. Three games to one in the series. Can they close it out? McDavid gets a power play goal. Second period they score two more goals. As Evander Kane, Warren Fogel, Vitaly Kraftsov also scores. Third period to close it out. Yes, they can. Brett Kulak gets the empty net and they win the series four games to one. Pittsburgh beating these lowly Philadelphia Flyers coming in as a, the underdog. 2-1 after one though. Connor Brown, the newly addition, scores two. As this is Pittsburgh, it's up three games to one. Second period, Kiefer Bellows scores. And third period. 4-1, Ryan Ellis, it's three games to two now for Pittsburgh. Game six, Colorado, Los Angeles, Colorado in the series, three games to two. As it's the 1v4 matchup. 2-2 two, two after one. 
four three after two for Ant McKinnon and Rodriguez's Fiala scores. Third period, a four Colorado wins as they had a bunch of goals four in the third period and they win eight four and four to two in the series. Game six Toronto versus Calgary one v four Toronto's winning three games to two. First period two no. Second period four game four one. Third period. 5-1 Toronto gets the goal from Austin Matthews, and they win the series four games to two. Carolina and Florida right now. Carolina the one versus Florida the four. Carolina up 3-2 in the series. First period, 1-0. Max Pacioretty. Second period, 2-1. As Hornquist and Forsling score. Third period, 2-1. We got a game seven coming in Carolina. In a high, the underdogs up 3-2 in the series over Minnesota, and they're up 1-0. Troy Terry. 2-1 as Matt Zuccarello and Matt Boldy score. Third period. 4-3, Max Jones, Ryan Stroman, JVV Drysdale. Score for Anaheim to win the series four games to two. Pittsburgh leading the series three games to two over Philly. Scores, Marcus Patterson, 1-0. Second period, nothing doing. For the series win. Yes, they do. Nick Benino on Carter Hart, and they win the series four games to two. Game seven in Carolina. First period, 1-0 Carolina after one. Second period, 1-0 still. Third period. Stays 1-0. Jordan Martinuk, the only one to score. And Carolina gets the win in seven. Obviously, take a look at your second round matchups in the left side. At the top, you got Colorado the one facing Anaheim the three, the underdog. The sweet the, uh, Cinderella story. On the left side, you got down below, you got Toronto the one versus Edmonton the two. And then at the top, you got Carolina the one versus Tampa Bay the three. And then at the bottom, you got New York Rangers the one versus Pittsburgh the two. Game five, Colorado up three games to one. First period, 1-1. One, one. Maxim Tontuan, Nick McKinnon. Second period, 2-1 as Girard scores for the series win. Yes, they do. 4-2 as Makar, Beaulieu, and Landeskog score. And they win the series four games to one. Colorado advances to the Western Conference Final. Carolina versus Tampa, game five. Carolina win the series three games to one. 1-0 one -oh as Ian Cole scores. 2-1 as Brandon Hagel scores. And Sebastian Ajo. Can Tampa stay alive? No, they cannot. Well, they could still stay alive, but Seth Jarvis ties it up for overtime now. Yes, they do stay alive. 3-2 to two in the series for Carolina now. Game 5, Pittsburgh, New York. Pittsburgh will lead the series three games to one. 3-1, three, one, no, for New York. Keandre Miller, Adam Fox, Patty Kane, and Jake Gensel all score. Second period, 3-2. to two, Chris Letang scores. Can Pittsburgh come back and win the series? They scored. Ricard Raquel, overtime number one. But no. Rangers stay alive to make it 3-2 as Kako scores. Leafs versus Oilers, game six. After one. But the Leafs are winning the series three games to two, remember. But McDavid, Nugent Hopkins, and Tavares score. Second period, 3-3. Three, three. Winner go home for Edmonton. They got to win this to force a game seven. Third period. No, they cannot. Michael Bunting and Justin Hall score. And the Maple Leafs are going to the conference finals. Well, supposedly conference finals. Carolina up 3-2 to two over Tampa Bay. First period solves nothing. Nine to shots. Seven, are they? 0-0. Zero, zero. Third period. Carolina gets a goal from Natchez from the corner. And it's over. Carolina wins the series 4-2 and advances to the conference finals. Pittsburgh up 3-2 in the series game 6. 1-0. Chris Kreider. Second period. 4-1. Adam Fox, Kreider, and Lafreniere. As well as Crosby. Third period. 4-1. Rangers force a game 7 back in New York. Pittsburgh versus New York. Game 7 in MSG. First period. 2-0 Pittsburgh. Jake Gensel and Ricard Raquel. Second period. 2-0 still. Third period. 3-2 Pittsburgh advances. They don't blow a 3-1 lead this time as they did two years ago. Well, 2022 basically. Tarasenko, Malkin, and Kreider get the goals. Pittsburgh 1-7. All right. Now, on the left side, you're supposedly conference finalists. You got the number one Colorado versus the number one Toronto Maple Leafs. And then on the right side, you got the number one Carolina Hurricanes against the number two Pittsburgh Penguins. All down to the number ones in the divisions. Game five in Colorado. Toronto leads the series three games to one. After one, it's 2-1. Matthews scores two as well as Ranton and gets one. Second period, it's still 2-1. Can Toronto, they're getting outshot 28-11. But can they advance to their first Stanley Cup final since 1967? Can they do it? No, they cannot right now as Ranton and scores a goal. But Tavares gets one back. It's 3-2. He gets one on the power play. Ten minutes down. They're still getting outshot by over 13. But we're coming down to the wire. Colorado needs one. They're at home. Colorado fans are going nuts to get one. Can they score one? Shoots. Rebound. No good. 
Kelly Yarncroke skating across the blues to Marner. Mitch Marner across the blues. He shoots and scores. Toronto with a 4-2 lead. As Marner gets the empty netter, and this could be it for Colorado. As Marner could advance the Leafs to the playoffs of the Stanley Cup final. 15 seconds left as we saw Marner got the empty netter. As it's now 15 left. Toronto up 4-2 in the game, 3-1 in the series. Can they advance to their first Stanley Cup final since 1967? 3, 2, 1, and that's it. Toronto Maple Leafs are going to the Cup Final. On the road, they win versus Colorado. As Yarncroak, they're all celebrating, as well as Tavares, Samsonov, O'Reilly. They didn't make any moves at the deadline. They didn't make any moves all season. Maybe some, they made Paul Stastny, but, like, he's not even on the team. He's in the AHL still. Tavares shaking Landis Cuck's hands as the captains embrace. Yarncroak shaking Rantanen's hands. The fin and the sweet, the double fin, I mean. As Tavares... Can he shake Bill Daly's hand and collect the cup? No, he does not. He chooses no. I've noticed in the CPUs, they never choose to lift the cup. They never choose to touch it. Because no one's ever touched it as I've been watching. But Toronto win the game 4-2 in advance of the cup final. Game 6 in Pittsburgh. 3-2 series lead for Pittsburgh. First period, 0-0. Second period, 1-0. Carolina, can you force a game 7? Pittsburgh sees a lot of adversity in the playoffs. They had the Rangers come back from 3-1 on them, but they still made it out. Power play for Pittsburgh. They score a goal not on the power play, but they get one. Jason Zucker ties it up as it's 1-1 now. Eight minutes. Seven ticks down. Six, they're out shooting them. But Seth Jarvis scores a goal as we're down to four minutes. Three. Seth Jarvis gets the hat trick, I see. And we're going to a game seven. Game seven, Pittsburgh versus Carolina in Carolina. Seth Jarvis coming off that hat trick. Can he do something in game seven? Brian Ross and Klenberg gets one for Pittsburgh. As well as Jordan Martinuk. Second period. 4-2. Pittsburgh. Not Pittsburgh. Carolina bust out with three. Just Barry, Andre, and Max all get one. As it's now third period time. Carolina severely out shooting them. Could that be the difference? Mikhail Granlin. The key deadline addition in real life. Dimitri Kulikov is all a deadline addition in real life. But Jarvis, the Hattie hero from game six, gets another one. Oh my gosh, 5-4 Carolina coming down. Eight minutes left. Carolina gets another one from Jarvis. He kills the Penguins. He owns them. He scored four goals in the last two games. As we're coming down to the wire. 5-6 though. As I think that was Dmitry Kulikov who scored again. As we're down at 20 seconds left, Carolina leads the series. I mean, it's game seven. They have a chance to win the series, I should say. As Jeff Carter, what a wild third period we had. As Seth Jarvis pot another two. What a brutal turnover by Jeff Petrie. And Svechnikov gets the goal. And the Carolina leads 7-5. And that's most likely going to be it. Jeff Petrie, what are you doing there? You can't turn it over there. You have an empty net. As you see, Malkin goes up to the points leaderboard. Probably accounting for the Gensel goal we saw. But 7-5. Nine seconds left. As eight. Can Pittsburgh do anything? They pull the goalie again. Teravainen to Jarvis. Can he get another hat-trick in back-to-back -back games? No, he cannot. But it doesn't matter. Carolina wins 7-5. They win in game seven. They're going to the cup finals. Freddie Anderson going up against his former team in the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nick Benino sat on the bench. You've already had so many clutch performances, Nick Benino. It's Carolina's turn. Jari's getting condolences from Crosby. Could that be Crosby's last turn to try and get the cup? As Crosby and Stahl, former teammates, shake hands. As well as Teravainen and Gensel. Two randoms to shake hands and the goalies. Jari and Anderson. As Jordan Stahl. Does he touch the cup? No, he does not. Says Bill Daly. No, sir. We're not touching it. As Carolina versus Toronto in the cup final. You're early on. Conn Smythe favorites. We got Matthews at 23 points in 17 games. We got William Nealon, the greatest player of all time, at 19 points in 17 games. We got Bunting at 15 points in 17 games. Tavares, 15, 17. Seth Jarvis, the Pittsburgh killer, at 15 and 20. Maybe Freddie Anderson's been doing good for Carolina, so we could 9, 28 at 2.16. Could this be a time for the goalie to win the Conn Smythe? Samsonov probably would get outbeat by his forwards, but Anderson could get it against his former team who gave up on him. Said, we don't need you. 1-1 in game one. Kerfoot and Patches. 3-1. Miss Patches scores again in Martinuk. 
third period. It's 4-3-W. Matthews pots two, but it doesn't matter. It's a former leaf. Andre Kasha scores one. As Carolina takes game one. Game two. Still in Carolina. They lead the series 1-0. 2-1 after two. Marcus Johansson, the deadline edition. And Jordan Stahl, the captain, as well as Bunting. They're out playing him by a while. Well, basically in shots. But third period. 2-2. O'Reilly scores. Overtime. And it's Matthews. The hero who's been saving them all playoffs scores another one. As it's 1-1 one, one after game one going to Toronto. Game three in Toronto. 1-1 one, one tied series. First period still has nothing. Second period. 1-0. Slavin scored. Third period. 3-1 as Seth Jarvis gets the empty netter. As well as Patches and Matthews scores. As Matthews gets another one. Game four in Toronto. Can Toronto get win one on home ice? First period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Second period. 3-0. Matthews, Tavares, and Riley. The core players step up. Third period. 3-3. Three, three, tie game. George Stump, Brett Pesci, Marty Natures. Overtime. Overtime one solves nothing. Carolina's out shooting them 43-30. Second overtime. Oh, my gosh. They scored. Jalen Chatfield. And we go to game five. Back in Carolina. As Carolina takes a 3-1 series lead. First period. 2-0 Toronto, though. Mark Giordano and David Camp. 3-0. Can Toronto save this 3-0 lead? They're getting outshot again. They've gotten outplayed all game. All series long, I should say. As Carolina got the power play. Can they do anything? No, they cannot. Maybe they force a game six. Carolina hasn't shown any offense this game. Well, sc to score any offense. They've shown plenty of shots. As they're killing them in shots by 15. And that's it. Toronto wins game five. Go to a game six. Game six back in Carolina. No, this is Toronto. Last game was in Carolina. Game six, 2-1, Matthews and Nylander, as well as Johansson. Second period, 2-1 still. Can Toronto, they score early. Morgan Riley, can they force a game seven? Carolina powered by the score. Not on the power play, but they get one. Andre Svechnikov, can they score another one and potentially win the cup? O'Reilly gets a power play goal, 4-2. Maple Leaf Square is buzzing. Five on four. Marner gets a goal, and we're going to go to a game seven in Carolina. This is what you play for. This is what you play for. These moments. Nothing like these moments. Carolina, Toronto, game seven. First period, three nothing Carolina. Svechnikov get pots two as well as Martin. Second period, three one. Nylander shows hope. The greatest player of all time shows hope. Third period. Binding scores three game, three to two now. We're coming down to the wire. Can we get a tie? And then a potential overtime winner for the cup final. Coming down to the wire. Oh my gosh. Toronto, this is your moment. Haven't been here since 1967. Can you win your first since 1967? Still down 3-2. Brent Burns potentially scores the insurance. But it's Jan Cook scores again. But Matthews, he's been a hero. To Kerfoot. Oh my gosh, you got to pot that. Power play. Burns hits him out front. Oh my gosh, Brent Burns, what are you doing? He hits Alex Kerfoot out front, and he drops like a bag of rocks. Could that be a dive potentially in the cup final? Burns doesn't look too mad about it, so maybe it's not a dive. As we're going to see the replay here. As Burns hits, oh, right, from, right in the back of the head. I didn't even know EA had that in the game. Matthews, 34 points. Only 34 would score 34 points in the playoffs. As line one's out, six on four, 30 seconds. Brady Shea feeds it over to Martin Hook. Martin Hook dumps it off the glass and it's down. 20 seconds left for Toronto. As Morgan Riley feeds it over to Tavares. Tavares crossing the blues. Gets it poked by Brady Shea. But Jacob Slavin pressuring Ryan O'Reilly to Marner. In the slot, he misses the net. You can't miss that. You cannot miss it. But he, Anderson throws it out. I thought he was covering it. Slavin clears it. Five, four, three. Two, one, Toronto, it's not yours. It's Carolina's time. The Caniacs. Carolina wins the cup since, first time since 2003, I think, 2004, 2006. One of those years. Andre Cash, a former Leaf, wins the cup. Freddie Anderson, a former Leaf, wins the cup. They gave up on them. Carolina said, we'll take you, and we'll give you a cup. Antti Ranta gets a cup. Jordan Stahl gets a cup. Uh, Sebastian Ajo, Svechnikov, they all get cups. Brent Burns gets his first cup. Lost in the fall. We gave it to a goalie. Oh, my gosh. This is the first time ever. Freddie Anderson gets the 
trophy from Batman. They gave it to a goalie. I, I'm hyped about that. They gave it to a goalie. That's the first time I've seen that. But now it's time for Lord Stanley as the Kaniacs. Jordan Stahl won two cups with Pittsburgh. No, one cup with P I don't know. I think he won one cup with Pittsburgh. Yeah, one cup with Pittsburgh. Then goes to Carolina. And then he's going to get a second cup here as he shakes Bettman's hand. This is the first time he gets to shake Bettman's hand. As last time, I don't think he was a, an assistant or a captain. As Carolina Hurricanes are your 2022-2023 COVID tournament winners. COVID season winners, I should say. Look at the jerseys they're wearing, the alternates. As you can see, Jalen Chatfield on it. Who's he passing it to? The Smythe winner. Their leading scorer. And I think it was Jarvis. Does he? Yes. The leading scorer. The Hattie Hero versus Pittsburgh. To make them come back. Don't forget, they were down 3-2 in the series. And then Seth Jarvis pots a hat trick in game six. And then two goals in game seven. This is the guy who brought them here. Seth Jarvis. A second-year player. Went nuts. You never really see that. Who's giving it to next? If he's giving it to the Smythe winner. And their hero in Freddie Anderson. A shutdown defenseman in Pesci. Marty Natchez, maybe. Slavin. No, another shutdown defenseman, though. And Jacob Slavin. He's been on the team for quite a bit. And he gets to lift Lord Stanley. High and proud. As Jacob Slavin is a cup champion. As he's going to hand it off to who? Oh, no, he's just pump faking it. And he's going to hand it off now to... Who is he going to hand it up? Svechnikov, Teravainen? Maybe Anderson? He was your Smythe winner. No, they say screw the goalies. We're giving it to Tavo Teravainen. They got him way back. I think he joined the team in 2013 or 2014. In a trade from Chicago. When he joined the team. As he's rocking those CCM skates that go perfect with the uniform. As Tavo Teravainen been on this team forever. And he's finally a cup winner. Well, actually he won with Chicago. This is his second cup. But Carolina, you're a cup winner. As that is, who is that? 23. Uh, Jordan Martinhook slides out front. As Carolina are your cup champs. Look at them all. I see Aho. I see Jordan Stahl. I see Jalen Chatfield. I see Brent Burns. I see Kat Niemi. As Carolina Hurricanes are your 2022-2023 COVID Tournament Stanley Cup champions. COVID season, I should say. You see the Ottawa Senators on the cup. You see the 1967 Leafs on the cup. You don't see 2022-2023 Leafs because they lost to Carolina. It's Carolina's time. Jordan Stoll, the captain, Sebastian Ajo, Frederick Anderson, Brent Burns, Jalen Chaffield, Dylan Coughlin, Jack Drew, Jesper Fest, Jake Gardner, Shane Gossespert, Seth Jarvis, Marcus Johansson, Andre Kasha, Jess Barry Clark, and Naomi, Jordan Martin, Martin H., Stefan Nason, Max Petrie, Brett Pressey, Jesse Polvier, Anthony Ranton, Brady Shady, Jacob Slavin, Paul Stancy, Derek Savon, Andre Svechnikov, Tavo Teravainen, and Carl... I forgot the last guy. Oh my gosh. But it's wraps. As. I was thinking of the award winners. McDavid, you won the Art Ross. Matthews won the Hart. McCarr won the James Norris. Kyle Connor won the Lady Bang. Mort Sider won the Calder. Shesterkin won the Vesna. Freddie Anderson won the Jennings. Price won the Bill Masterton. Daryl Sutter won the Jack Adams. I don't think it's Daryl though. Patrice Bergeron won the boss, won the Selkie. Matthews won the Lindsay and the Maurice Richard. So Matthews took it all home. Carolina wins the cup. Carolina has won since 2006. They win the cup here over the Leafs in six, I think it was. Or no, it was in game seven. I remember. It's game seven. Anyways, I'm Mr. Rolls. Let me know how you guys like, like this video. If you guys like, like these simulations. Anyways, I'm Mr. Rolls. Drop a like on this video. Drop a sub on this video. A video is going to pop up right over here. Sorry, I get my angles wrong all the time. No, my channel's gonna be over here. My last video's gonna be over here. Jump a like on them if you like them. Tell me in the comments. Anyways, I'm Mr. Rolls. See you guys in the next one. And peace!